In this video, we will see how links can be used in Shopfloor Insight. Here we can see the Shopfloor Insight application. The View button on the toolbar will display a list of checkboxes that can be turned on to do different things. The Links checkbox here will display any link associated to the item. In this specific example, the links were added on the item we are currently producing, which is a Kronos bicycle here. At this point, I would like to point out that the links are all added in Business Central directly. This is outside the Shop Floor Insight application. The user simply has access to these links in the Shop Floor Insight application. Given that Shop Floor Insight is a web application, clicking on the link listed here will open up a new tab and open the link directly. If you wish to make a file such as a drawing or PDF available as a link in Shopfloor Insight, the file will need to be made accessible to the scanning station as an HTTP or HTTPS link. Cloud storage products such as OneDrive, SharePoint, Dropbox, and Google Drive, and there are others, are quite useful tools in this context. I also would like to point out Security considerations might be required here to give access to the links from the scanning stations. Let's now click on the link to see them in action. I will now click on the first one, which, which is an HTTPS link. As you can see, a new tab opened up and we now have, in this case, a website. Let's click on the second link. In this context, this is in fact a file that is displayed here that lists, in this case, a drawing. This concludes the video on links in Shop for Insight. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.